Hi, I'm Travis, and this is just a few minutes about loads in operating rooms. So we have some data. Uh, since we have some buildings connected to Clockworks, our enterprise uh, continuous commissioning system, we're starting to get a good amount of historical data. So in this exercise, we looked at 17 operating rooms, and these are the ones that have the right data. We may be able to come up with more over time, but 17 operating rooms is a pretty good start. We have a full year's worth of data, and it's five minute interval data. So there's 12 observations per hour. That's 105 observations per operating room. And for each observation, we're getting CFM, supply air temperature, and then room temperatures so that we can use the old classic uh, 1.08 CFM delta T equation uh, to take a look at the load in the OR. OK, so uh, on the chart here, what you're seeing is the average hour per room uh, is the, I'm sorry, the average hourly load per room by hour of the day. For most of the rooms, it tends to kick up at six or seven in the morning and then ramp back down uh, at three o'clock and from three o'clock in the afternoon on. Uh, there's some rooms that are different than that, but that's the general trend. Um, the average hourly load sometimes goes negative. Uh, and sometimes it hugs zero, but mostly it ranges between about zero and about two tons worth of sensible load. Uh, in the table, you're seeing the annual average and standard deviation. A good number of these rooms stay between um, zero and about three quarter tons. The highest loads or the highest load rooms, I should say, had an average as high as about one and a half ton with the standard deviation of about a half a ton of 6,000 BTU. Uh, here are the hourly maximums and minimums. Uh, the minimum, of course, is the heating load. Uh, the average of that is about 15,000 BTU, but you can see there's a huge outlier near the bottom. That one that says 72,000 BTU. So if you leave that one out, then the average is about 12,000 BTU. So 12,000 BTU worth of heating uh, need for an operating room. Uh, the maximum hourly load on, on the cooling side is between one ton and three ton. And the dead maximum single hour load experienced in all 17 rooms for a full year is that number 37,400 BTU. So just over three tons of sensible load. Next thing we did was looked at coincident loads. So loads occurring at the same time across these operating rooms. Uh, and and what you can see here is that our one hour like dead maximum is up there around 275,000 BTU. Um, that's less than 1.5 tons per room of coincident load, load happening at the same time. Most of the numbers are in this range. You kind of see that there's a, a sweet spot. There's a range right down there around 100,000 to 125,000 BTU, uh, which if you divide by 17 is about three quarter tons per room of coincident load. So it would seem like if you're sizing a system for multiple ORs, you probably want to be able to, you know, be very efficient in that sweet spot, three quarter ton per room, and you want to be able to ramp up to about 1.5 ton per room. So for 10 ORs, you'd need to be sitting there between like eight tons and 15 tons for your system. Uh, then this last piece is on temperatures. Uh, you look to the right first. Uh, the room temperatures are probably not far off of what I would expect. It pretty much looks like 68 degrees plus or minus a control range. Uh, it's a little interesting that our codes call out 68 degrees as the minimum. So there are some who would say that the points below 68 are out of range. I'm not one of those people. Um, it's probably also good to see that none of these rooms had an average of 64 or 62. Uh, so that might be a bit of a validation here. But probably the big story is in the supplier temperatures, uh, which are the columns on the left and the orange data on the left. Uh, the average supply air is 65 degrees, which means that on average we're doing 10 degrees of reheat. And of course, uh, half of the time uh, we're doing more than 10 degrees of reheat, which by the way also means that the reheat load is much bigger than the cooling load, you know, statistically speaking, we talked about an average load of about three quarter tons or 8,000 BTU and this 10 degree reheat load, if you have a 55 degree um, supplier temperature is about 22,000 BTU, which means that at the average condition, our reheat load is about two and a half times the load in the room. So on an annual energy basis, um, the, the reheat going into an OR is probably more than the load in the OR by a factor of about two or three. Um, so 
that's the data. This is a presentation with no conclusions. <laughs> I want it to uh, use it to ask questions. So if you're watching this, please send me your thoughts. Uh, tell me what you're thinking after seeing this data. Uh, in a couple ways. First off, how do you normally do load calculations? What do you normally plan for operating rooms? And how does your normal load calculation compare to this? Right? Are you calculating 50,000 BTU per room, or are you calculating about a ton or a three-quarter ton to a ton and a half per room? Uh, and then second, if this data is at all true, what does that mean? What what does the data mean to you, particularly the supplier temperature data and the and the the load fluctuation data, the load profile data? Should we keep doing what we're doing? Is this a validation, or should we be doing something different? And if so, what what strategies should we be looking at um, in operating rooms? Uh, and then, of course, I know that we're all engineers, so the first thing we do when we look at data uh, is we question the validity of the data, <laughs> and so we'll come up with a million questions about the data. And so, uh, what are those questions? What um, what would you like to see, or what could we drill into and dive into within the data? We have this massive data set, so what questions would we ask that data set? Um, if you're watching this video, I probably sent it to you specifically, so I am very interested in your opinion. Uh, please do send me your opinion.